All right, before we go any further, I kind of want to share with you the vision. Where are we going? What are we kind of building? What are we basing this on? Um, and this is basically the dribble file that we're following along. I'll have a link to it. I should have put one in the introduction as well, but it's by Emmanuel uh, Torres. Torres. Um, but so you can see here, this is what we're going to be building. We're going to have this title uh, subheader. We're going to have these different fields. And we're actually going to add in another field of a switch input. But what I want to look at this for is one, you can see we've got the button, we've got these different states here. We've got our primary button and our secondary button. And then I want to look at and analyze this form. What are the shared elements? What are the different elements? And then how do we actually want to break things up uh, to make them reusable but simple? And then we can go ahead and start building our stories from that. So first and foremost, let's think about it as a form overall. So our form is going to be composed of a title, a sub, or let's say a header, a subheader. We're going to have a variety of fields, and then we could have some buttons. Well, we already know we did the buttons, so that was kind of that introductory one. And then inside of here, we're going to have this form wrapper. Uh, this form wrapper, we're going to say, or the way we're going to build it is it's going to have a header. You can pass a header to it. You could pass a subheader to it. Either one of those are optional. They're going to handle the spacing here for us. And then we can also pass in basically as many fields as are necessary or as many buttons as are necessary. So with that in mind, uh, that's probably basically this section down here is going to be children. So we'll have a header prop, subheader, and then we'll have children, which is going to be all this. So buttons taken care of. Let's think about the field. Well, we've actually got a title. We've got kind of the actual input. And then we've got a validation message down here. So um, I don't have an example of the switch that we're going to be using, but basically the concept there is that someone needs to agree to the terms before they can go ahead and uh, continue on. But it's going to have the exact same layout, just instead of a text input, it'll be a little switch. And with that in mind, the way we can think about the field, so basically this, each individual field, we're going to have a a label here, we're going to have a validation message, and then we're going to have either text input, a switch, select, whatever it may be, would be as a child. So uh, with all this in mind, let's go back to our text editor, and then let's kind of create a little list of what we're going to have. So we've got a wrapping form that's going to kind of wrap everything, and this is going to have a uh, header, subheader, and then children and the children is going to just represent whatever makes that form unique. Uh, as, a, as components of the form, we're going to have fields. So within a field, what's going to happen? Well, we're going to have a field wrapper, and this field wrapper is going to carry a label, and it's going to have a validation message. And then we're also going to say message type. Uh, basically like is it an error message or is it a success message and then within a field wrapper so i guess i should add here that it's also going to have children um, basically this field wrapper is going to be that unifying piece between whether it's a text input or a switch they're going to have very similar uh, props that can be passed to the same design and then here we could have a text input which will just be standard props and then we're going to have a switch, which is also going to be standard props. So that's kind of how I'm going to break things down. Really, we can get rid of this fields one. and Move this over. So we're going to have a form component. We're going to have a field wrapper component. Then we're going to have a text input and a switch. And basically the way this is going to be exposed is the, we're going to have a form, we're going to have a text input, and a switch that the user, the user or the consumer is going to be us developer in the future, actually building out a different form. Um, and then basically this text input and switch will go ahead and inherit things from field wrapper, which is going to be another component uh, that typically won't be used, but would be used to build other field input types. So that's just kind of the vision. Go ahead, look at this. If you ever want to reference as to what we're building, uh, the props that we're doing, and if you ever get confused throughout, you can just come back to this to kind of figure out the bigger picture of what we're building.